Rebecca Robeson, interior designer, businesswoman, and mother. Join me as I take you through my projects, my life, and what keeps me driven to design. Okay, so Tark, you ready? I have a job for you. Will you come with me? It's our fourth and final day of install at the Desert Rose Inn and Cabins. We've got a good week's worth of work left to do. So, let's get started. These mirrors, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the mirrors that we've got planned for the women's public restroom. Do you remember them from the model? And this will be a lot easier than hanging an oval mirror. I wanna see this. It's kinda hard to believe, but yes, we still have unpacking to do. Uh, interesting. Looks like it's a dark mirror. It's a door. A stinking heavy door. Oh, maybe it's the one for the men's restroom. Oh, you know what is really good for that? Cardboard. Oh, or a sling. That works too. Oh, I get to sling it? Okay. Oh, that doesn't help at all. Oh my gosh. Can't we just go back to the cardboard idea? Like seriously? to come up with a spacing and hanging strategy. Okay, this is the two fingers, two of Rebecca's fingers. Two fingers, it's a very scientific way. You know, sometimes I put my elbow in there and stuff. You gotta learn how to use your best natural resources. This one's gonna be two inches. This one's gonna be two. I find that just like with my framed photography walls, Planning it out on the floor is the best way to visualize your concept. It's an inch and a half all the way down. Inch and a half all the way down. And it almost always saves you time when you consider what it takes to reconfigure pieces on the wall. Not to mention the wall abuse. That's just wrong. Oh, Tariq, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, I'll be back in about 30 minutes. Uh, Ready? Go. <laughs> I absolutely love the four hands furniture that we picked out for this project. In order to create a boutique style hotel, I selected different sizes of beds and nightstands. Hey, Sen. It created a little bit of a challenge. These are going in with the multi slatted All these go in the Milano. Okay, so what's going in the multi-slatted? Because the one that you just also put in these, there? But only in the rooms that have more wall space. Which for is the Lenny's. Which is A1. I'm gonna take care of all of it. So Don't I'm worry done. about what numbers, what doors, I got it. Got it. Thank you very soon. The end result will be fabulous. No two rooms alike. And now for the pendant lights. You guys know how I love my lighting. Two. I'm a little suspicious about the length between the two. I just don't think it was the look that I was going for. Why don't you hold the big one in okay. the back where that thing is, and then Luis hold the small one in the front? We definitely need to get the air on in here, don't you think? That'd be nice. Yeah. Luis, if you hit that ceiling one more time. Seriously? Can you get closer and sort of they almost touch? My suspicions are correct. It doesn't work. Now we're gonna have to figure out a way to make it work. So you guys all know my fastidious and OCD organizational skills. As much as it has its benefits, it landed me right here. Appliance unpacker. That's not the most glamorous position, but well, at least it's quiet for a change. If you would like to see a detailed video on how to make a bed properly, leave me a comment below. I don't even remember what this is. He's trying to be fancy. Oh. I did it. Sort of. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. This is 
really interesting. This arterier's wall art is made of a multitude of treated steel slats. Slats which can be shaped to curl out from the center. Sorry it's heavy. Gosh, how mean of me. You're doing fine, Luis. Good job. Of course it's the last room. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, it left a permanent indent. It really did. Yeah, and I've never seen anything be too heavy for you before. I have two options. I have this one to hang up over there. What's the possibility? Okay guys, it's choice time again. Oh, I feel terrible. I'm so sorry. Oh yes, that's really beautiful. Okay, get down. You're just scaring me. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. That's fabulous. Okay, get down. Please get down. Or... Now try this one. This is gonna look like a piece of cake in comparison. Except it's a little pokey. That's pretty too. I like that a lot. I have a feeling I know which one Luis would choose. I'm gonna help you carry it. How's that? Oh, you're doing that sling thing again. Oh, look at you. <laughs> this guy, he could figure out anything. You wanna try it? Put it on and just see how it looks. We can try that. We have a plan. The rods are modular, so we're gonna just take one off of one pendant and add it to the other. Stop cutting. <laughs> you remind me of my hairdresser. He's like, no, I just need to get this one last thing. I'm like, no, it's getting too short. Oh, now I have to even it out over here. No! Okay, now I'm not saying I'm gonna like this, but I'm saying I'm willing to look at it. I think that does it. Nailed it. Good suggestion, Matthew, with the camera. We're having a little bit of a meltdown. At least I am. Tonight's our last night. It's already almost seven o'clock tonight. And I haven't even begun to accessorize my bookcase. Um, there's so much we have to do. We'll probably be here till wee, wee, wee hours of the morning. And we're having a little bit of an identity crisis as to what rooms the nightstands go in. And there's so many, and it's very confusing. Are you ready to share this? All right. Next week on Ropes and Design. Oh, it's smoking, Scott. That's because we're trying to burn it to the ground.